Hey, so you saw, oh, you saw, you know what? You saw Frozen 2? Yeah. I got this eyeshadow palette for Frozen 2. Oh, who is nice. this? Was this Elsa or who's the other sister? Well, that's, Anna. Yeah, I, well, yeah, Anna, but it, I, for some reason they pronounce it Anna. Anna, okay. Who is this? I don't know Anna. I always thought it was Anna. Who, okay, this is the Elsa palette. Is this yeah. Kristen Bell? Uh, no, it's uh, Idina Menzel. Kristen Bell voices Anna. Okay. But I, it's beautiful i think it's my new one of my new favorite eyeshadow palettes okay so you saw frozen 2 how was it that was good was it as good as the first one i want to say it was better really yeah i think it's like more adventure based because they they go in they go in like a mysterious forest uh-huh and, and was olaf was he silly was he funny he was okay all right yeah, so Josh, yeah it revises his voice a little if you didn't see Frozen 1, could you go in and see Frozen 2 and still like it? I think so. Okay. All right, and then you saw Charlie's Angels. It's PG-13, so... What? Charlie's Angels or Frozen? PG-13, Charlie's Angels. Okay. All right, How and you like it? Because it has Elizabeth Banks. She's pretty silly. Yeah, and she directed it. Oh, she's been directing a lot because she also directed um, the singing movies. Pitch Perfect. Uh, oh, she directed the Pitch Perfect trilogy? I know she did w at least one of them. I, can I think she I can directed. I check on MDB. Okay. So, yeah, she, Elizabeth, Charlie's Angels, uh -huh. by Elizabeth Banks. Okay. Yeah, but I think so, she's yeah, been there, doing more directing. There are, there are three Pitch Perfect movies. Pitch Perfect, Elizabeth Banks directed. Oh, the rest, Jason Moore directed the first one. Okay, I never heard of Se him. The second one. She directed the second one, and the third one, she, oh, she only directed uh, Pitch Perfect 2. Oh, okay. All right. And then, did you have any new Chuck Norris jokes? Chuck Norris once defeated a brick wall in a game of tennis. That's a good one. Chuck Norris can win a game of Connect 4 in only three moves. <laughs> okay. If you have five dollars and Chuck Norris has five dollars, Chuck Norris has more money than you. Okay. Um, so tell me, you've seen a lot of movies lately. What were some of your what were some of the good movies that you've seen recently? Hmm. Were there Toy some? Story Four was one of them. Toy Story Four you really liked, huh? Yeah, and I'm glad I got that on D V D. Okay. I've been watching my Rugrats a lot lately. Oh yeah, I remember Rugrats. Like you guys were really little when Rugrats came out. Yeah. And I, I watched that to relive my childhood. Okay. How many seasons were? Uh, well, I have. I'm, I got season. I didn't realize I already had season three when I got a season three and four dual dual pack. Okay. Well, maybe I you think, can I give. Think maybe I can. Maybe I can give Ryan the other my other copy. Yeah. And he and maybe he can get Ollie into Rugrats. Yeah. And I was thinking I could. And I think season one and two come in a combo pack, and I was thinking I would give my old copies to Ryan and Ollie as well, so they can have more. Okay, that's good. I can get them at Meyer. Okay. Oh, um, let me give you one more Chuck Norris fact. Okay. Chuck Norris was once on Celebrity Wheel of Fortune and was the first to spin. The next 29 minutes of the show consisted of everyone standing around awkwardly waiting for the wheel to stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's silly. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune one. Yeah. I think that'll be it for now. What's the next movie you're going to see? Uh, Jumanji, the next level that doesn't come out until Friday, December 13th. Oh, okay, so you got a couple weeks. Any other really good movies that you saw recently that we should know about? Hmm. Trying to think. I'm to remember what you saw. Like, it's just been a lot of movies that have come out lately. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to keep track. Was there anyone with, like... Oh, wasn't there one about, like, firemen? Oh, Playing With Fire. How yeah, was that? That was really funny. Who was in that? That was John, John Cena. John Cena. The wrestler, I had John Mike Nizamo, Keegan Michael Key. Okay. Good morning, side dishes. It is Monday morning. It is 4:50. So I'm up. Pip and I, there's Pip right there. He's um, yeah, he's gonna go back to sleep. But there's Scout and Lou. They're ready to to help. Scout wants to come up on the couch. Um, but I am gonna get some emails taken care of and I as long as let's see it's almost five so I could probably work till maybe eight and then jump in the shower and be to a meeting 
in plenty of time. It's a short week because it's Thanksgiving week, so it's just gonna be kind of a probably quiet week. Probably a lot of my coworkers will be out for the whole week, so with things being quiet, people out, I'll get fewer emails and probably get to get caught up. So since we had a big thunderstorm a couple weeks ago, Scout, the wiener dog, has been wanting to come up on the couch all the time. Well, now he's just kind of taking it over, and here he is under my, there he is, Scout. He is under one of my little hoodie blankets. But if I know Scout, his bum's hanging out. Let's see. I can go to the other side. Lots of time. Oh, it's covered. Okay, usually there's a rear end hanging. Are you checking me out, Scout? Like, what is she? Yeah, okay, you can go back to sleep. I'll leave you alone. Cover up. But Scout likes to be totally covered up and in his own little cocoon, and then I forget that he's there. So I do have a picture of him a little bit ago when his bum was hanging out. So I'll show you guys that. Okay, good night, Scout. I'll cover you up. Okay, bud? There we go. Okay. Oh, just his little nose. He's going to hang out. And Pip's just going to be like, oh, I hate when he's on the couch. Why did this happen? Why? Okay, Scout doesn't like it that I'm standing up over him. He's finding that a little just unsettling we see you in there buddy we see you <laughs> there's scout the wiener dog brad says he went from rags to riches hello it's tuesday afternoon i just got done with a really long meeting and went from like 11 to 4 um just discussing some marketing that we do at little star and it's kind of gray and gloomy outside i don't know if you can, can kind of see Gray and gloomy. But anyway, I'm heading home. I'll talk to you later. Good morning. It's Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We had a pretty quiet Thanksgiving. We just watched some movies, kind of hung around the house. We went out to dinner and um, then just came home and took a nap and just had a really quiet day. The night before Thanksgiving, I actually went and got my hair trimmed and the, she cut about three inches off it. It doesn't really look any different except it made my hair look a lot darker because my ends were definitely, you know, fading out in the sun and when my hair starts to get bleached and light it gets a lot of red to it so it pulled out some of the red and then you know brought me back to what looks like my more normal brown and I am you know growing out all my grays I'm not going to cover any of that stuff so anyway we'll see how it goes so today is Friday I used to love to go out and tackle the stores and do Black Friday but not so much anymore um, you know shoot Black Friday started a week ago and I've got most of the stuff here already um, can it's just so convenient to order online so today I'm going to really work on catching up on some emails that I have I'm sitting at around 168 emails that I've got to get to I've got some projects um, that I have to get to in my um, you know just for work to clean up the year and then um i wanted to also work on some writing tasks that i have to do so anyway i hope everybody had a great thanksgiving now it is the day after thanksgiving and i am kind of wishing gosh i had i wish i had like a lot of leftovers um that's the one thing about going out and not cooking is you miss the leftovers so anyway have a great day i'll talk to you soon so pat and i are going to roast a chicken and we seasoned it with lemon juice garlic orange salt basil and some turkey seasoning so we just rubbed it up and down good all over both sides and inside and now it's outside on the smoker so I got Pat this smoker slash grill for Father's Day last year and it's you have to plug it in and it feeds it pellets of wood but you could put different flavored wood pellets in like oak and what other flavors that you can put on mesquite like all kinds of stuff so there is our bird how much did the bird weigh Okay, so the bird's a couple pounds, and how long is it supposed to take to cook? Okay, we don't know that either. We'll get back to you. This is what I call when two worlds collide. This is kind of my makeup station, and you can see it's got all my, or a lot of my makeup stuff of products that I'm 
kind of testing out and filming with and just some gifts that I'm trying to get ready and review and then my husband's doing some work and so he starts putting all his tools on my on my makeup station gosh that's what we got going on here here is the finished turkey it weighs five pounds six ounces how long did it take to cook two and a half hours, two and a half hours to cook and um, what temperature did we cook it on 225. 225. Mm, the skin looks like crispy and moist and it made a lot of juice that we can make gravy with. Mm, I can't wait to cut into it. It smells great. Let's see, in the mail today, got some items from Christiana, it's called. Oh, Christiana, yes. I had some stuff from them before, but it's a palette. There are the shadows and you can see the pans are really, really big. And then they tell up here what the colors are. It's kind of the guide. Um, so I look forward to trying that. And then I have used this product before. It's like their eyebrow pomade. It's really dark and concentrated. So let's see what color I have. Medium brown. I'm not sure what the other one I have, but it's a little tiny pop and it lasts forever. So that's definitely neat. And let's see what else came. Oh, a metallic matte lipstick. Ginger Snap. Kind of an orangey brown color. That's what I'm seeing here. Ginger Snap color. Okay. And then also from, this looks beautiful, Becca Cosmetics. That, let's see what this is. It's the Becca Pearl, it's hard to see because it's really reflective. The Becca Pearl Glow Shimmering Eye Palette. And these are all the colors. And this is a matte, and this is a matte. And these are luminous finish, right here, those four. And then the six down the middle are called pearlescent finishes. Um, let me open up the palette for you. Look how beautiful that is. So these are in the pot. These kind of must be baked because they're like raised in the pot. But matte, matte, these are pearlescents. And these are considered luminous shimmer. So I love this. It looks beautiful. I cannot wait to give that a try. So um, these are kind of coming up a little bit whiter than they are. They're a little bit more taupey and brown. So those are super pretty. So I'll keep you posted on that one. Well, I know it's not a really pretty picture, but the chicken came out so delicious on the smoker. So I just have a big plate of chicken right now and it made some delicious broth too. Zero points on Weight Watchers. Yeah.